What's up, you guys? It's Shooter April back with another Amazon Prime Lace Front Wig video. This company is called B-Show. I will link all of the information below for you guys. First of all, I wanna just mention this. This is the second video that I've done from them and the two wigs are identical. Funny story is I did get the wig a few months ago and I was contacted by two representatives. I wasn't aware of the company name when I was contacted the second time. I went ahead and got the deep wave. The only difference in the two videos is the length. So the first video that I did for them is also another deep wave lace front. I did dye that one with the dark and lovely box dyes and it came out this beautiful fall like chestnut brown color and I'll definitely leave the information below. But this one I just decided to leave it in its natural color. I did spray some of my lace wig tinting spray in the unit and I sewed an elastic band. The unit does come with the standard combs. There are three in the front and one in the back along with the adjustable strap. So this is a type of curl pattern that I really do like a lot better than like the really tight curls. I like the big chunky curls because the wig just becomes a lot more fuller versus frizzy. So I do prefer these. Um, when I bleached the knots of this, I did leave the purple shampoo on after bleaching for about a couple hours. That way all the brassy tones could be removed. And then, like I said, I just sprayed some of the lace tinting spray on it. I'm not really sure if it was the Taylor Crowns or the wig extensions, but I'm not really sure. I may need just a little bit more. I'm going to see during the video. Okay, you guys. So, first of all, I'm just going to respray this tinting spray on it, which is the Taylor Crowns. And the color that I'm using is the caramel, and I'm just going to blow dry it with my blow dryer. So first of all, I want to mention to you guys that B Show Hair also has their own website, and they are an Amazon wig seller as well. So this unit you can pick up on Amazon along with that. You can also get it from their website, and the price is $127 for this 9A Peruvian Water Wave. 13 by 4 lace frontal wig in 20 inches so for some reason i just could not remember that it was water wave these water waves in this unit are sickening to me it was really looks more like deep wave but either way the hair quality is great i will definitely post their links below so like i said if you want to go to amazon or their actual website you can they have very good low prices so as you see i'm just going to remove the lace off this this is standard we all do this and you know i guess i can just talk through it or you know you know what i think i'll let you guys listen to some music and then you know you know this part so i'll be back in a second now I'm trying to see if the wig needs any type of customization because you know everybody's head circumference is a lot different so I'm just going to take my rat tail comb and I'm going to part it because it does kind of like overlap my ear and I would not be able to fit the wig properly or wear the wig properly without cutting off that extra piece of lace. So that is what I'm doing here. And you just want to repeat that on the opposite side. Along with that, I'm going to make some baby hairs and sideburn hairs or wispy hairs, whatever you want to call them. This is optional, but just to camouflage the lace, I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to take my got to be glam force hairspray and I'm going to apply that to the lace area where it's in between the hairline and the parting or the baby hairs in the part. Now, first of all, do you guys see that the actual tinting spray started to run as I use the hairspray? This is the part that I really was not too happy about because prior to me spraying the hairspray, the color was just actually perfect. And then once I sprayed my product on it, the tinting spray started to run. Now, I've seen this happen with the wig extensions tinting spray also. And I'm really concerned because for one, how are we supposed to adhere our wigs without any type of of the sprays running or is it best to just allow it to kind of like cure or sit and dry for a couple days prior to you know spraying the hairspray so i'm gonna have to try another unit that i already sprayed um and did not wear yet and see how it works 
So I'm just still continuously going ahead and making those wispy hairs. And I'm just gonna spray once again. I actually do really like this hairspray. It holds my wigs down for days, but I don't like the fact that you see the brown from the actual tinting spray. That I could do without, seriously. I could definitely do without that. It's just making it look messy, so I decided to dap it out. And it was there was some um, residue from the actual lace. But I'm gonna work this, okay? But I'll know for next time. And I'm just gonna take my blow dryer and just blow dry it on cool. And this part right here is just me shortening the wispy hairs. Now, does this hair look like water wave hair or not? Like, cause water wave hair to me is more or less like loose wave. This curl pattern is like succulent, beautiful. I love it, it's soft, the hair texture is so soft. And look, it bleaches super easy. Um, it says it's a 13 by four, but yeah, it is a 13 by four. Cause I'm trying to feel like it was a little bit longer, but it's definitely a 13 by four. The hair is like beautiful. The lace, is, the lace was great until I put the tinting spray on it cause I really didn't need it. But you know how you just want to try something out, see if it makes it look any better, you know? So this time around, I'm using my mesmerizing, um, no, Volume Maniac, excuse me, Volume Maniac uh, styling mousse by Got To Be. And this stuff works great too. And I'm just gonna spray it on the front edges of the hair and just distribute that through so that way it's wet and it's easier to style. And I can style those baby hairs and sideburn hairs and all that good stuff with my favorite toothbrush in the entire world. But like I said, this hair is beautiful. It's very soft. I really do like V-Show hairs. They got some good affordable wigs, girl. If you need a good affordable wig, just go ahead and check them out. Their hair bleaches so nicely. And that tinting spray definitely made a mess out of my wig lace. Definitely made a mess out of the lace of the wig. You guys can see all of the brown from the actual tinting spray on the side right there. In case you didn't get to see it up close, you can definitely see it there. But the cool thing about it is it does wash out because it's a semi-permanent. I'm not really sure how, how semi because it doesn't seem like it. But I'm just, like I said, wondering if you allow the product to sit on the hair or the lace for a few days prior to, you know, wetting it again, will it settle into the lace, allowing it not to, you know, run? We shall find out. We shall see. But other than that, the hair looks good, girl. This is like really pretty hair. Um, the first one that I did, I did color it like I said, so the curl pattern changed just a little bit. It got a little bit looser. So if you don't dye it, it's definitely gonna be big and full like this. I think this is like 150, it's definitely enough. And because I didn't wet it, I just let it hang dry. I didn't wet it on camera. This is how I like the curls, big and fluffy like this versus them just being wet and kind of like stringy and flat. I like them when they're like big like this and very soft. The hair is super soft. Like this is a really nice lace frontal. The only issue that I have is the tinting sprays. Like I really do like them, but honey, if just try not to spray it by the hairline, but I know that will really defeat the purpose. But once you spray your product, like you put like your hairspray 
or whatever you're using to adhere your wig. I noticed that the tinting spray looks like it gets a little bit runny. Well, you know what I say about Amazon. Amazon Prime, get your stuff on time, girl. Yes, this is a really cute unit. It's really nice and full. This is V Show Hair. You could check them out on Amazon. I will definitely link all of their information below for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope the color wasn't off too much. I love you guys. Stay deep and delicious. Make sure you make, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, and I will see you guys in a soon-to-come video.